you are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the over review and discussion. If you're new, be sure to subscribe everybody. Be sure to like, comment, share all that good stuff, man. Um, I'm watching this show last night and I'm just like, man, Tyler Perry just, I, I look, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a Tyler Perry fan, man. I just, sometimes he come out with projects that just, I enjoy, but he needs to find somebody to help him with, you know, with, with his writing, man. I know he takes pride in it, but come on, Tyler, man. But I do think the show has potential, so I don't even know where to start. I mean, last night episode, it picked up where it left <laughs> off with Donald and Lily. Uh, you know, she done shot Bobby. <clears throat> uh, Donald called his Secret Service detail to come in and remove the body and do what it is that they do. And, um, you know, I mean, the way he talks to his seat, the way he talks to every goddamn body, it just, it just irks me. It irks me to the point where I'm just like, Tyler Perry, he's going to be the reason why this show becomes what it becomes. Him and Victoria, the, the, the first lady, in my opinion. But nevertheless, this episode, um... He, you know, he talked everybody crazy. He telling Lily, like, everything is okay. In 24 hours, I find out every single thing about him, his last movements for the past couple of days. Now she getting all shaking up because she was just like, he going to get the security to the security tapes from the airport to see me and him in the bathroom doing, you know, what we did. And he just like, is there anything I need to know? And she was just like, no, you know. But I get it. We don't want another Carissa type, you know, situation on our hands. But <laughs> that's, 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 you know, that's, that's Greenlee. But anyways, Lily just can't get, you know, come to peace that I guess she just shot a man that she just had intercourse with. So she wakes up in the middle of the night asking Donald all these questions. Where is he? What are they doing? Did, did, did they call the police? And you know, do he have a family? Just asking all of these questions, which are, you know, I understand where the questions come from. You just shot somebody. You know, you, all of this stuff, is, I never shot anybody, but I would like to think if I did, and I'm lucky enough to not go to jail, have to go downtown, that I probably wouldn't be able to sleep well that night or nights to come either myself. Uh, you know, that's just what I like to believe. So, she goes downstairs and she sees Kyle, which is, I guess, he the head of um, her husband's Donald security. And <sighs> he kept hinting at the fact that what, you know, what y'all telling us not making sense. We don't believe that happened. Your story is not adding up that you got home and he was in here waiting for you, et cetera, et cetera. And which is true, <clears throat> which is true. And she basically was just like, I said what I said. Go do your job and get out of my house. She goes back upstairs and Donald asks who was she talking to. And, he, and she says, Kyle. And he runs downstairs. And then we find out Kyle and the Donald had something going on. And he was just like, you cannot be here. Kyle tries to touch the Donald. It's just typical Tyler Perry. But I will say I didn't see that coming. I, I don't... You know, uh, it was a scene where they talked about Donald and and uh, Lily talked about children. She said, "You got that. You got that. We got to have sex first. And I was just like, "Hmm, I wonder why he ain't hitting that." You know what I'm saying? And my old lady was like, "He gay." And you know, I, I ain't gonna even. You know, I'm gonna just leave that alone. But we know now why he ain't hitting that. It's all for an image. I mean, but hey, Cyrus was gay on scandal. Just come out the closet. So I'm sure, you know, it would have some scandal vibes to it. But he tells Kyle he can't be here. Don't go. Don't come back. Do his job, etc. Et so now it's basically pointing to the fact that Kyle is looking for some information to basically suggest or let him know that something was going on between Bobby, who was shot, and Lily. That way he can weasel his way back into the Donald's bedroom. 
but now he know what the house looks like. He that much closer to the bedroom. So anywho, um, moving on. Um, Barry is on the, you know, Barry on the look for his daughter. He show he go to the projects, hook up with his cousin Pick. I know Pick, and when he when he rolled up on call like. I was just like, Tyler, bro, you in Atlanta. Pay some real thugs to do some acting. Man, these cats was horrible, man. It's crazy. Cause like I said, I, I really do like I, I really do like Tyler Perry stuff, man. But it just be like, I don't know, sometimes I think he don't value acting sometimes. But I mean, hey, I could be wrong. But they were horrible. And Pink just did not look like a gang member, a head of a gang member. And basically, Barry is trying to get Pink to tell him what Ruth is, what a whole KKK or the Boom Shaka Laka or whatever the name of the cult is. <laughs> and now uh, Pink telling him, like, bro, cuz, look, cuz, like, cuz, they ain't them killers. You know, you ain't you ain't on that, man. He was like, let me handle it. You know, whoop de whoop. Barry ain't trying to hear that. Barry say, tell me where they at. I'm trying to get my girl. So Pitt give him a fake address. Barry steals a gun off of one of Pitt, you know, goons. And, you know, they draw their gun on them. And I'm just like, first of all, that's, you know, that's against Cole. Because, you know, every, every cousin, first cousin that I have that's be thugging and gang banging, if I, like, no, they boys ain't pulling no gun on us. That, you know, you don't pull guns on family, man. You, you, yeah, so I, I don't know about that one. But anyway, especially when you are already done about for them and you, the, you, know, you know you're the head, but whatever. So he goes to the location, the fake address. And so Pick goes to, you know, Barry House to go have a conversation with his father, Richard. They basically tell Richard, hey, you need to go get your son. He looking for... Ruth and them killers, and it like we, we got yes to the pig tower. We, 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 we have to, man. Look, if the Fresh Prince of Bel Air was able to give us a new Aunt Vivian, even though we didn't want one, the show still worked and succeeded. You need to get us a new pig. That's all I'm saying. So, Barry Dad, Jedi, they go meet up with Barry. Um, and um, he 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 meets up with him. He get in the car. He talk about man. You know what I found out? I was having a son. Man, it was just like oh Jesus, thank you. This is what I did. This is, you know, giving that talk, right? And so you know, he told Barry, man, we're gonna find her. We're gonna get her back. Ask Barry for the gun. Barry say he didn't have no gun. Barry say he killing them. He killing them. And so then they start touching him for the gun and. The episode went off with the gun going off. So in my mind, either somebody got shot in the kneecap or he shot the dashboard on Tyler Pierce. So wouldn't surprise me either way. So anyways, let's get to this doggone White House. Let's get to some White House business. So Hunter, President Franklin, excuse me, he, we get introduced to his, mis his mistress this episode or, or at least one of his mistress. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really remember her name. I don't. But we get introduced to him. He goes in the Oval. He got his his right hand security, you know, on the lookout. He and you know, in there doing the nasty. You know what I'm saying? They in the Oval. At least on scam. And I hate to relate the show so much to scandal. But at least on scandal. You know what I'm saying? Fitz and Libby was like, let's get, you know, the camera right there. Let's get over here in the cone. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. President Franklin, he, and you know, he, and he got a thing for the chocolate lady. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I salute. You feel me? He got a thing for the chocolate lady. So they all over the whole, the over, doing it on the desk, doing it on the coffee table, doing it on the love seat. And, you know, they just doing what they do. And so I guess, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, Meanwhile, um, the wife, Victoria, she goes, she, she hears him leave out the bedroom. So I guess she gets up and then she goes in the kitchen. And I guess she, she going there to get something to eat or she know her daughter, Gail, is in there. And next thing, they going back and forth. And Gail told her, you need to go to the Oval. I think Dad got some coming. I'm just like, what, the chilling no daddy cheating too? Like, man, this is a dysfunctional prayer. Like, I, I refuse to believe. 
that even the Trump administration got this type of stuff going on up there, Tyler. Like, no. So she tried to go see her husband and <clears throat> confront the mistress. Um, and uh, obviously she's not able to because his uh, security guy, Max, won't let her in. She throws something, Max ended up hurting himself. So now she got to go back to bed and all that kind of stuff. But that was that. So anyway, let's talk about Gail. Now we did know that she's dating somebody who's a drug dealer. And we should have known when we got introduced to Pick that Tyler Perry was going to do this to us. So apparently Gail is dating Pick, which is Richard's nephew, which is AKA Barry cousin, AKA the girl who accused Barry of raping her. So hopefully something comes of that. Maybe Pick try to put a gun, kidnap with some. I don't know. But I was just like, really, Tyler? Really, Tyler? And so she on the phone with Pick, saying, telling him to come to the White House. He telling her I can't come. She was like, I can get you in. He was like, nah, my uncle worked there and he hate me. And she asked him, she said, his name is Richard. And I don't know how this little helpful gonna handle this. I, I truly don't, man. This, this is a little crazy, even for, you know, <clears throat> even for me. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's move on to this son who ain't no good. His name Jason. The maid is uh, in, I think the maid name is uh, Lindsay or, or Ellie or something like that. I don't know. The maid is in his room, uh, you know, cleaning up, making the bed and all that. And he's just a little horny stuff. He's just trying to get his first piece of you know what, man. He... He telling her, he asking her, he want to see where they live and all this and all that. Just, he just trying to get him with something, man. But uh, yeah, I mean the show was, <clears throat> I mean the show was okay. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was okay. I'm trying to see if I miss anything. Pretty much this episode, we find out that the Donald is gay, right? We get introduced to the mistress. Um, we and uh, speaking of the mistress, when President Franklin. <clears throat> Or should I just call him by his first name, which is Hunter, returns to his bedroom. It, I, I mean, I mean, but if you cheat, and your woman know you're cheating, and to a certain extent, she okay because she's willing to, she wants to uphold the shield of, you know, he's this great husband, great politician. She don't, you know, I, I, I don't know, but he go to hop in the shower and she done had some broken glass right there waiting on her. And um, he pretty much cut up his feet, and she tell him, if you bring that, that helpful back to this White House, you know what I'm saying, I'm killing her. And although I don't believe that she will, you know, he seems to have some sort of belief that <clears throat> she may. But, I mean, overall, man, it's, uh, the Donald security team is taking Bobby to an underground location. Uh, we find out that he's... Uh, a, a ranger, so they can't, they probably not gonna be able to break him. Kyle is insisting to his right hand security partner when he, when he, when he stitched up, break him. And, and, and we, now we know the whole, this show already blowing my mind out. I mean, think about it. Like I said, it has potential to be good because the storyline that we have been introduced to thus far is actually pretty entertaining outside of pick. Is the boyfriend of the president. I mean, yeah, the boyfriend of the president's daughter. So, I mean, we going to see. But like I say, man, um, that's pretty much it, man. If y'all got anything y'all want to add to the show, I mean, my thoughts on the Donald is, you know, live your truth. Uh, my thoughts to Hunter and Victoria, I mean, if you're going to uphold the shield, don't try to kill him. <laughs> you know? And as far as Barry go, Man, hey, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't even know no more at this point. Barry girlfriend upset at home with Nancy crying. Talking about some shit. I'm tired. I'm tired. Good girl. I don't know. She talks like she want to break up with him because, you know, Barry flipped out on her about, you know, her being upset. She not the mama or whatever. I don't know, man. Just, it got potential. But we going to see Tyler, man. Do your thing, Tyler, man. I ain't mad at you, man. Till next time. Happy Thursday. You know the vibes. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.